Hi everyone, um, it's me again. I feel like I've not really recorded a sit down video in a really long time, apart from the one I did with Louise, um, but still, it just feels like it's been ages. Have you missed me? I've missed you a lot. Okay, so today's video, um, if you've not already guessed uh, from the title, is an empties slash products that I've used up video. I have become a little bit obsessed with these types of videos recently. I'm not too sure why, uh, but I love watching them. I think it's because when you watch somebody talk about things they've actually used up, you know they've actually used the product. So the opinion that they're giving you and the review that they can give of the item, you know is 100% genuine and they've not just used it for two days and gone, oh, I really liked this. They've actually used the whole thing up. I decided to just like keep the things I was using up to show you in a video and then I could give you my two cents and maybe you'd like it and if you don't then I'm really sorry and you don't have to watch any further. I'd also just quickly like to say that um, I was going to leave my fringe down but it was really annoying me so I've pinned it up so I kind of feel like I look a little bit like a bouffant, I don't know. And also I painted my nails in this blue colour and I really hate it. And I don't often put a nail polish on my nails and look at my hands and go, ugh, but this colour I really don't like. Um, it was an H&M one, I think it's called Nail Him. Nice, nice name. Um, and the second I've stopped filming this I think I might go take it off. Is that weird? I just don't like it. Ugh, don't like it. Mm, it's making my hands look really pale and like old lady-ish. Okay, hey, on to the actual video. I got a bit carried away with keeping things I'd used up and thinking, oh my god, there's a tiny bit left, I need to use it. And so I think I may have used up products slightly quicker this way, but that's a good thing because um, because I write my blog, this is me writing my blog, um, it means I'm fortunate enough and lucky enough um, that I get to try a lot of new things to review and uh, blog about, so I'm always getting new products and I'm always buying new products and I'm just inquiring a lot and not using up enough to make it kind of like an even balance it out so I feel like I'm receiving more than I'm actually using so I'm making it my mission and through the help of these videos where I empty things and show you empty bottles and tell you that I liked stuff or didn't like stuff that I will actually use more things and that's always a good thing to be honest the first thing I have used up is my beloved Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish. Now, I have a video, a skincare video, which I will leave below. Um, it's kind of old, the lighting's really poopy, you can't really see me, but I do explain how much I love this. I do still use it, I do still love it, and I'm going to be repurchasing another one of these, I think, because it's just my absolute go-to when it comes to cleanser, and I explain it slightly better on my blog and in the skincare video, so I shall just pop that on there. Next thing I used up, slightly random, I've had this for quite a long time so I'm glad it's gone, um, is a Johnson's Baby Light Oil Spray. Yes, I'm aware, I'm not a baby. As much of a surprise to you as that is, I'm an adult. <laughs> but I bought this because I read somewhere that somebody used this on their skin and it smelt really nice and it did their skin wonders. Um, I can't say it's the best oil I've ever used, um, it's quite nice to put in my bath, which is what I've been doing. It was it was nice. I don't really think I ever noticed much of a difference to my skin when I put it in my bath, but it's nice to spray it onto the skin if you're into oiling your body instead of moisturising your body. It's cheap, it's cheerful. If you like oiling yourself, then you might like this, but I don't think I'll be buying that one again. Next thing I've used up, which is also in my skincare video, which I shall leave below, is the Regen Cream, which I have been using religiously, and also my brother has been using this too. I'll put it on this side, it's quite bright. Um, and it's basically um, a moisturiser which has um, the same sort of oil as bio oil in it, which is used to reduce scarring, blemishes, marks on your skin. Um, but it's in a moisturiser form for your face. So I've been using this because when I get blemishes on my face, they normally take quite a while to go, which is really annoying. Um, so I've been using this and I found that it helped massively. And I think this was about £3.50 from Home Bargains. Um, and I have repurchased this already because I'm just going to show you that it's empty in case you think I'm lying. Uh, because I love it so much. So 
got another one of those already and love this. I've also got a blog post on this which I will link in the down bar if you're interested in reading more about it. Next thing I finished this morning, um, which is why it reminded me to make this video, um, and it came with a jolly box, I think? Or no, a glossy box, maybe. I can't remember, one or the other. Sorry, don't kill me. And it is the Ayuri Natural Body Wash, um, and I got the rose scented one. Now, normally, I'm really not a fan of rose scents. I just wanna make sure I haven't got any lipstick on my teeth. I'm paranoid. But this didn't actually smell of like roses. And I absolutely love this stuff. I literally just like poured it over me in the shower. Um, absolutely loved it. And I don't really think these are that expensive, so I think I might buy some more of this. It's enriched with Indian rose, jasmine, and aloe vera, and it's really moisturising, smells amazing, and it's just a really nice shower gel if you are into shower gels. Next, two things come as kind of a pair, they come together, married, whatever, and it is the Pantene Pro V Aqualite Shampoo and Conditioner, completely empty. I absolutely love this shampoo and conditioner. Um, I've not actually spoken about them before because, well, you know, how excited do you get over pharmacy slash drugstore shampoos and conditioners? It, essentially, it's for fine hair and I don't really have fine hair, but I think it works really well because it makes your hair feel really light and it doesn't add too much weight to the hair. So whenever I use this, I always feel like my hair feels really light, like, like after you come out of a salon and you can just feel that your like your head feels cool and I don't know your hair just feels really light um it gets rid of grease amazingly it keeps my hair grease free for longer I think it's basically designed to not weigh your hair down so if you do have fine hair and you've not used this yet why not it's absolutely amazing even if you don't have fine hair I love it I think I'm probably going to repurchase it to be honest because it's just great and it's cheap so what more could you ask for really? This one's kind of boring. Uh, nail polish remover, the acetone free for artificial and sensitive nails, Sally Hansen nail polish remover and it's got like hot chocolate like spilled on it which is just a nice added bonus. Don't buy this, it's rubbish. I'm so glad it's finally gone because this stuff, I was literally pouring it on my nails and nothing came off. It was just a complete nightmare. You could use cotton pad after cotton pad of this stuff, like saturated in this stuff, and it's still a bitch to take off your nail polish. So I'm glad it's gone and I will not be repurchasing this one. I don't know if it's because it's for artificial and sensitive nails, um, but I do have artificial nails and sensitive nails because I have artificial nails. Um, so kind of pretty crap really. Damn you, Sally Hansen. Okay, I think this is possibly uh, the overall winner of the most boring item in the whole thing, and it's my <laughs> Palmolive Soft and Gentle Deodorant. Not really an awful lot to say on this. Uh, it's a deodorant, it smells nice, and it did the job. Another shower gel that I have completely used up is this Rituals Yogi Flow Indian Rose and Sweet Almond Oil. There seems to be a lot of Indian Rose in my shower gels, that's weird. It's basically a foaming shower gel, and this was in the glossy box, this was in the December glossy box. And uh, this was really, really nice. Um, I think it retails for around six, seven pounds, which I don't think I would pay for a shower gel, uh, personally. But um, it was really nice, it smelled really nice. It wasn't overly moisturizing, which I kind of need in a shower gel because I suffer with kind of drier skin than the normal person. Um, so, uh, smelt nice, was kind of cool, it's like a foam instead of like a liquid or a gel, so kind of different, but yeah, all gone now. Whew. We're nearly at the end, I promise. Um, okay, the next thing is the Taj, okay, I can't say this word, is it micellaire? Micellaire water? Micellaire. Micellaire water? Oh, whoa whatever it is it's amazing and it's the Taj one um I got this in a jolly in a jolly box I've actually really enjoyed using the samples in beauty boxes because I found some really really great things like this I have actually already repurchased myself like in a massive bottle but yeah this Taj uh micellaire water or makeup remover cleanse slash cleanser 
is absolutely freaking amazing. This stuff, literally, you just put a little bit on a cotton pad, pop it on your eyes, or your whole face of makeup, and you just sweep it down and it just comes off it like an absolute dream. I love it. Um, I tend to use this before I cleanse, so I've been using this before I do a cleanse with my cleanse and polish so I get most of it off with this and then do a proper thorough cleanse of my skin with this one. If you're into like water makeup removers or cleansers then definitely have a little look at this one and see if it's up your street because it was definitely right up mine. I'm aware that this could kind of be classed as cheating because I've not technically finished the whole collection of it but I received some bath oils, like tiny little bath oils in um, a little collection, I think there was like eight, um, and I've used three of them, so I've got the tiny little, <laughs> they're like glass, they're really cute, I've got the tiny little glass jars, it's basically one per bath, so you pour the whole thing in. Now I love a good bath, like who doesn't love a good bath? Okay, they're not great for cleaning, but they're great for relaxing, so I like to have a bath every now and then because... I do. And I've used three of them. I've only got two here. I don't know where the other one is. I think it's still in the back in the box. Um, I used De-Stress Your Mind and Revive Evening. Um, and I thoroughly enjoyed my bath with these oils. They look like something Thumbelina would use for her bath. Like, you know, like a normal sized bubble bath for a Thumbelina. You wouldn't think a whole bath would come out of one of these, but it does. It's impressive. Okay, on to makeup-y things. With um, mascaras and things, I think it is kind of easy to tell when it's done because it basically dries out and you can no longer apply it to your eyelashes without clumps of black falling on your face. So that brings me on to this item, which is one of my number seven exquisite curl mascaras. Now you all know how much I love this mascara. I rave about it all the time. Um, it's just kind of dried out now. <laughs> and it's run its course so in fact it's like dried all around like ooh, it's got all like crusty oh gross um so yeah you know how much i love this it's one of my favorite mascaras although i do have a sneaky second favorite that may be overtaking it slightly two concealers that i have used up this month uh, when i say used up i mean i mean they don't look used up now but i can't get any more out because for some stupid reason, people put concealers in tubes, which means that you can't get any more from round the edges. It's so annoying. Anyway, I've got out as much as I possibly can without like snapping the thing. Um, of the Maybelline Pure Cover Mineral Concealer in shade 03 Sand. Um, this was actually my one of my favourite concealers before the Collection 2000 Perfecting Flawless coverage jobby came out um and then this overtook it look how dried out this is like i don't even think you're gonna be able to like see oh it's just so gross um and i got that in shade light and they're both just done with so i need to get some more concealer because now i just can't cover up my ugly face okay and last but not least is something that is kind of random but i wanted to put it in there anyway and i'm not going to do this with all food and drink items because technically i class food and drink as a bit of a cheating type scenario like you can't you can't eat a packet of crisps and be like i finished this pack of crisps because that's just cheating so just quickly i want to show you this um because i friggin love it and I'm, I just need some more and it is the Marks and Spencers Rhubarb and Custard Sparkling Drink. It's as good as it sounds or I'm sure some of you are thinking yuck. It tastes absolutely amazing. At first I was quite dubious that this would taste slightly rank, sickly and really fake but it just tastes like the sweets, the Rhubarb and Custard sweets. It tastes exactly the same. It's so addictive. You have one sip and you're like I need to drink the whole thing. So I did drink the whole thing, and now it's all gone. So if you're near a Marks and Spencers anytime soon, please try this because, well, it's just nice. And they also had um, sherbet lemon flavour, and 
What else did they have? I can't remember. They had sherbet lemon and something else, but I can't remember them now. But they had a nice selection of like old school sweets um, in fizzy drinks, which I think is really nice. And it's in a nice glass bottle, so if glass bottles um, are a preference when choosing your sparkling drinks, then you might consider that. Okay, so that is all of my empties slash things I've used up. Um, but I hope you found this video slightly more insightful because you know I've used up the whole product. And I'll put some any reviews of any of the products behind me that I have in the down bar thingy, box thingy. And I can't think of what else I need to say. I'm going to go recycle all this now because I am a bit weird when it comes to recycling. I like to recycle everything. I even went to Louise's house and was like, is that a pile of re recycling that you've got there on the side? Do you want me to do it for you? For ages now, I've just wanted to recycle all of this. And now I can. I'm aware that that makes me sound like a complete weirdo. Okay, so I'm going to go recycle all my empty plastic shears, Menez, and take off this horrible blue hand granifying nail polish and um yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and if you want me to do more of these then let me know and give it a thumbs up so I can kind of judge if you really hated it you won't have got this far anyway so that doesn't even matter um goodbye on to the th the 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 oh <laughs> had you fooled um Oiling your body sounds so strange, um, and now you're all having weird perverted thoughts, aren't you? Oh no! First thing that come to my head would kink would come to the uh, pop those on my little table. There's like a weird fly in here. I don't think it was. Whatever. Oh my god, I'm going mental. This goes to show, like, it's, it's one of my throat is going so strange. See, oh my god, there's something on my foot. What's that? Mm, okay. Is something... My fringe is so annoying. I don't know why I did that like a magician. On that note, I'm off. Goodbye! <laughs>